Hey there, friends. Kristen here with a new episode of Free Spirit Beating. I'm live on Mondays at 1 p.m. Pacific time on the Softlex Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. And hooray, we just made it to 20,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So thank you all so very much. I hope that um, you enjoy our continued content and beading parties and tutorials that we share each and every week. If you are new around here, be sure to like us and subscribe. Um, you'll get notifications when we have our lives. So I'm live on Monday, and then Sarah is usually live on Wednesday, but I'll be taking over her live spot this week. So you can join me live Again, on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, we'll be having a beading party with our friend Cassandra Spicer of Beads to Live By. And then we have a Monster Mash party planned for the middle of October. So October 12th and 13th. If you guys have not grabbed your kits, we still have some available, but the event is coming up soon. So if you want to have your kit in time for the event, be sure to grab it ASAP. Um, we've been sharing in our emails about some of the designs that the designers will be showing you. Um, and I'll probably post a bit more on our social media this week. We've got designers, Rachel Malice, we have Jennifer Miller, Abby Berta, and Jim Hawks joining us for the Monster Mash jewelry making party that's put on with Softlex Company and our friends over at Jesse James Beats. So be sure to check that out at softlexcompany.com. You can get the supply kit with us and then grab the bead kit over at jessejamesbeads.com. Super, super fun. Hello, beady people. I see so many of you joining me already and much love to Sarah and her family. Yes. So if you haven't heard, Sarah is going through a really difficult time right now. Last week, her husband was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. Um, so she is taking some much needed time away at the moment to help care for him and take him to some of his initial appointments. Um, he's going to probably need a lot more treatment in the future too. So sending Sarah and her family lots and lots of love. We ha She had put together a Caring Bridge page um, to update the journey. So you guys can check that out. And there's also a GoFundMe happening to help her with some of the financial um, instability. So if you need more information for that, you can always contact us at Softlex Company and um, and see what's going on with her journey. If you donate to Caring Bridge, you can donate, but that doesn't go directly to Sarah and her family. It goes to the Caring Bridge website. I think some people were confused about that last week. So just wanted to kind of point that out, um, that that donating on Caring Bridge just helps them run that particular website and offer a free web page for families that are going through difficult times. Um, yeah, yeah, they were going today for uh, some testing, I know this morning. So she has a beading kit with her. She she posted it in the VIB studio group um, that she picked up from Jill Wiseman a while back. And she was just talking about how lovely it is to have things like a beading kit ready to go for when you need something to do while you're waiting or you just need something to kind of quiet your mind when you're in... Um, you know, a state of stress and worry. And uh, she was able to grab a kit that she had bought, I think last last year sometime. It's a, it's a Christmas kit. And she was able to grab that with her and bring it with her while she waited in the hospital today. So speaking of kits, <laughs> we're gonna be working with our Halloween Hustle design kit again today. Um, I have all of my things pulled out on my beading table to come up with another idea. We made this design last Wednesday. So you can find this on the Softlex Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. Um, we made the necklace together and one of the earrings. And then we made another earring, the other earring on the um, Softlex Company Instagram page. So you could check that out in a reel too over there. So if you don't join, if you're not following us on Instagram and you like to hang out on Instagram, come join us over there 
as well. Um, so this was a really fun piece that we did on the fly last week. And I'm kind of doing something on the fly again today. I'm going to do a bracelet, I think. And I have two camps of ideas happening on my table. Um, but before I get started, I want to let you know that we've got a neighborhood cleanup happening in my, in my neighborhood. And we have like two dumpsters on my actual block. And my little dog, Reba, it is making her lose her mind a little bit. So, <laughs> so hopefully we had someone like really trimming, cutting down um, trees, I think, before. And for about an hour, he was going back and forth, <laughs> bringing stuff, dumping in the dumpster. And Reba was just losing it. So um, I might have to quick mute uh, if all of a sudden someone else shows up and they start dumping stuff in the dumpster, I'll try my best to quickly mute myself so you don't have to listen to her incessant barking when somebody is dumping things. <laughs> but today's the last day, so there's a little bit more activity where there's been people dumping things all weekend, but today's the last day you get to use the dumpster, so I feel like there's a little more activity happening out there making Miss Reba lose her, her little mind. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes, Reba was trying to save my life. She, she was. She's just doing what she's supposed to do to alert the danger, the stranger danger happening out front. <laughs> so if all of a sudden you hear me go silent, um, that might be that Reba all of a sudden started a little fit. I just wanted to give you, and if you hear her for a little while, that's what's going on um, right in my neighborhood. So what else is happening? We've got a tiered sale. It's sort of a buy more, save more sale going on at softlexcompany.com. We like to say it's choose your own sale because it's a percentage off your entire order and you can shop with for whatever you'd like um, to receive your percentage off. If you spend $59 or more, you'll get 15% off. If you spend $79 or more, you'll get 20% off. And if you spend $99 or more, you'll get 25% off, all at softlexcompany.com. That's happening until tomorrow, October 3rd. Um, at midnight Pacific time. And if there's anything that's already on sale, like it's in closeout or it's a bundle and it's already got a 30% off discount, you're gonna get extra savings on top of that. So just might wanna go peek and see some items that might be currently on sale and then you'll get a little bit extra savings as well. Spend $65 or more on an online order and you'll have the option for free shipping in the United States. And yeah, and we've got a giveaway going on here in the video. So if you see the little ticker down at the bottom, comment with the hashtag Halloween to enter to win a prize. You must be here at the end to win. And I think I'm gonna be giving away one of these Halloween hustle kits again, because it's October. We are officially in spooky season. Um, and we have a few of these kits left, so you can still purchase them, softlexcompany.com, and I'm going to give one away. All right, let's see what's going on. Ciao, everyone. Nancy says, beating helps. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nancy. Beating helps her. Today is the anniversary of her husband's death. My thoughts are with you. My love is with you. And beating really does help. Most creative, I think all creative activities really help. Help the soul, help us heal, help us um, to kind of focus and concentrate on what we can do right now, bring ourselves in the present moment and um, just kind of so soothes your soul a bit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Joey. Yeah, my heart is breaking for Sarah, too. It is definitely a huge surprise. And 
um, really, really tough to for her and her family to be going through this. So think really good thoughts, send her lots of love and prayers, manifestations, all that stuff that they get good news today um, when they do their biopsy and see what happens from there. All right, let's turn my camera down to the table. Take a closer look at our kit here. And so all of the beads and this wire that I'm showing over here, all of this was included in the kit, except for these mummies and this big strand here. This is called the Halloween Hustle bead strand. So it was a strand that we had made exclusively for us from our friends over at Jesse James Beads. And it was... Um, in coordination with this kit, but it was not included in the kit. I think we have about a dozen of these left. Really, really pretty strand that you can use at any time. I love this big ellipse shaped bead. You've got three of them on here. These super sparkly beads, and then these really cool bead frames, which I've seen a few of you use, and they are, I love them. I like these too. They kind of have like kind of look like little spiders to me, the way the black rhinestones are pronged in there. Pretty, um, really pretty. So that's the Halloween Hustle bead strand that you can buy separately. And these little mummies I pulled out, um, they kind of go along with our skeleton, but the mummies were sold separately too. So you can get these at softlexcompany.com. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use these today, but I was thinking that this group of items would be really fun together. The purple and these melons along with all of these charms and make a little charm necklace or charm bracelet. And then maybe add some of this extra orange in there too. That could be really cute. And I think I'm actually going to use these today. Terry, speaking of JJB, is Softlex participating in their winter workshop this year? Um, we don't usually do any kind of classes in their winter workshop, but I do think that we have contributed product in the past. I don't know. Um, I don't always know all of the ins and outs of the things we're doing when it comes to events. So that would be a better question for Sarah. And um, I'll reach out to her and see if she can get back to me on whether or not we're participating in some way. But as far as I know, I only hear about it if I'm like hosting in it <laughs> or working on kits for it. And um, in that particular workshop, I wasn't involved in any of that. Eileen, we do have a really good, she's asking if we take returns. We do have a really good return policy. I think there's a 45 day um, limit to get a return. So, but if you have purchased a kit and you were unhappy with it, or you purchased a strand and you were unhappy with it and you're within that 45 day window, um, Damien, you might need to go fact check that for me because I don't know what our return policy details are, but I feel like it's 45 days that you would get uh, a full refund. But just contact us at info at softlexcompany.com if you ever have any issues or questions with your order and they will be happy to um, help you out. Oh, good. Terry got some of those buttons. Yeah, we're going to have some of those dragonfly buttons in our next live sale. So if you, I, I don't know how many are left. I feel like there is a handful left, maybe 10 or possibly a little bit less. But um, our next live sale, which was supposed to be this week, but it's being postponed. So stay tuned for that. Um, maybe, I don't know how far out it's being pushed, but our next live sale should have those dragonfly buttons in there. 
Oh, Nancy said she made a bunch of spiders that she showed us and her family is grabbing them up. So cool. So we made some spiders last week. I've been seeing so many spiders in the VIB studio group, which is our Facebook group at Softlex Company. It's been super fun to see them all. Um, so you could check out the tutorial for this. I We made one last, was it last Monday? Oh my gosh, it's been a very long week. Uh, we made one last Monday and we also made one during the coffee and craft wire video that I did with Sarah. Speaking of spiders, so I saw a spider this morning that used one of these as the booty. So it had the little um, sugar skull as the booty. And then it had a bead like this as the front. And I think I'm going to do one of those. So if I use these beads, which I think I'm going to use these beads today, I'm only going to use three because I want to keep one extra for a little spider booty. How cute is that? Thank you. Here's our full return policy. Thank you, Damien. We will be happy to issue a full refund or exchange when an item is returned to us within 45 days from the date of purchase. 45 to 90 days after purchase, we will offer an account credit if the item is returned to us. And after 90 days, returned items are no longer accepted. So there is our full policy. I appreciate you grabbing that for me, Damien. I had a feeling 45 days was in my head, but I knew there was a 90 day part to it too. <laughs> Brenda says all of the spiders being posted on the VIB page are so cute. They are, it's been so fun. Um, and oh, Lorena, it's Sarah's husband. So yes, please add him Joshua to the prayer list. They would really um, appreciate that. Okay, so I think I'm going to make a nice little Halloween bracelet using three of these. These are sugar skulls. Um, they kind of represent, I think they're used a lot in the Day of the Dead celebrations or in the decorations for that. And Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican holiday where families welcome back the souls of their deceased relatives for a reunion and it includes food and drink and celebration. Um, I think it started, the, there was an Aztec custom that started it and um, it was Spanish invaders that brought it to Mexico in the early 1500s. So it's celebrated in the beginning of November, November 1st and 2nd. But if you hear people talking about it or referencing it, I know a few of you were talking about it in my video last week. I just wanted to share a little information about that for context. So I'm gonna take one of these and put it aside so that I can make a little um, spider booty <laughs> with that. And I think I'm gonna use this Maybe this sparkly bead out of the strand. We'll see. So I've got three of these. I pulled out one of these from our Tierra Cast collection. We only have a few of these left. I love this clasp. It's one of my favorite clasps for bracelets. And um, this is the black color. I think when I looked before the video, we had five of these left in black and five of these left in gold. And that's it. And then we're gonna to be totally sold out of them. I also pulled out the bead caps and these little spacer beads that were in the Halloween Hustle Mix and kit. I think I'm gonna use these in between. And I think I'm gonna use these. I haven't decided all of them yet, but maybe some of these too. Um, and just kind of stick with a real black and white. I also pulled out some of these uh, cute spacers that I might throw in there. 
for a nice black and white bracelet. And I've got some of my black wire from the black onyx color from the kit. This is, the, you always get a spool of 10 foot spool of wire and the Halloween Hustle kit came with black this time. Yeah, isn't the black nice? It's pretty. So if I'm gonna make a bracelet, I might just go ahead and string right on the spool, keep my, my beading wire attached. But before I do that, let's just do a little layout. How do I want these to go? <laughs> Joey says all creative people have a spooky area in their in their brain. I definitely come to appreciate it more more recently. It was never really my favorite holiday. I've talked about this in the past um, because growing up where I grew up, even though it was you know a good time, there were definitely some weird things that would happen. Um, around Halloween that made it more spooky and less fun, right? Not spooky fun, but more spooky and less fun growing up. And so it just wasn't really my favorite, favorite thing. But as I've gotten older and I get to have a little more fun now and I get to go to Halloween parties and decorate and even having my own kids who really enjoy the holiday, um, it's gotten better. <laughs> I like it a little bit more now than I used to. Okay, so looking at what I've got here, I probably have enough just in that to start stringing. I don't know if I want to add these little guys in here though. I really like the color, like this little antique color. I'll just put it around the, the faces there and see how that looks. I wanted to decorate this weekend. Has anyone decorated? I would think this last, last weekend would have been a great time to do that. But I um, I ended up working on my yard since we've got this cleanup crew thing going on. I ended up working on my yard too and spent all my time doing that. Then I never got to my garage. I thought I would, <laughs> thought I would clean up my garage and... I thought, oh, that's got a really big, I think maybe I'll save these. That's got a pretty big hole there, and I don't think it'll go well with um, being next to one of these little guys. Oh, I love that. I love that. Sharon says, I never gave Halloween much thought until I started making costumes for my grandkids. Now the memories I have of that are amazing. That is so cool. <laughs> is that an elusive spider? I'm making the elusive butthead spider. <laughs> oh. uh. I have been enjoying to like the last few years as my kids are a little older now too, we've been enjoying some Halloween um, movies and shows, things like that to kind of get us into the spirit, which has been fun. I just grew up in a town where like, I don't know, they just, it just was, it was more that people just used it as an excuse to like go out and, and terrorize 
terrorize little kids and maybe not little kids, but more like teenagers, you know, young teenagers. I just was, it just was always stressful. <laughs> oh, we've got birthdays. Stacy says, I love Halloween. It's my favorite month. It's birthday time. Happy birthday. I do love fall and I do love autumn and all the all of the colors and the crisp air and the apples and pumpkins. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin everything. I'm definitely a pumpkin fan. Um, how about you all out there? I know that <laughs> I hit my local Trader Joe's hard the other day because all of the pumpkin items are back. And I just was like some, a lot of them I haven't tried. There were some new ones. And so I just was like, I think I added that in the wrong spot. Yeah, I did. I'm a super duper pumpkin fan. <laughs> and cider and chai. Oh, no, no pumpkin for you, Terry. I do love cider and I love chai. I like, I love all of it. Squash. I love butternut squash, egg corn squash. I'm totally a fall. Lover of all the things. Ooh, this is fun. So just simply strung. Let me see where I'm at lengthwise. I am at five and a half. And this is a pretty decent size clasp, a little toggle clasp. Let me measure this. Another inch. So that would get me six and a half, which would be a little bit small for me. Um, so let's see what I got. I do have some of these beads that I can add. And I've got these silver beads that I could put at the end if I want to. Maybe I'll try that. Is this one gonna be too heavy at the end here? I do like it though. Maybe I'll add. Although once I put the crimp there, that's not, it's just gonna get lost in the crimp. So let's try that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my wire free from my spool. And add this silver one at the end and then this one at the end. And then if I want to do a little tester, I could do a little tester. Let's see if I can get, oh my gosh, can I get this thing open? There we go. I'm just gonna put a little bead stopper on both sides. So that I can do a bracelet check. So now I'm close to eight inches by adding those beads there, which might be, might be a little bit big. So 
So if I take off this one and instead, maybe I grab something from here. That's a little bit smaller. Maybe I grab this one and add it to the ends. I know I got to cut this open for my spider anyway. So now's the time. <laughs> Look at that shape. So cool. It's going to make a great earring. Oh, I could just do this black one too. Which one? This one's a little bit smaller. So if I take off that and add on this. I think that'll help me in my sizing a bit more. So I'll take off these two and add on this one on this side. And I could do a little check again. These little mini ones fall out of my hand a lot, but they are convenient for when you just want something small, these bead stoppers. Yeah, that shaved off about, not quite a half inch, but enough that I think this will then fit me well. Such a puzzle, right? So you do have silver crimps that come with your kit, but we do also sell them in black. These are sterling silver that are black oxidized. And since I'm using black toggle, I think I'll go ahead and add my black crimp. So it's a two by two millimeter crimp tube. Don't forget to put your toggle piece on <laughs> and then feed the wire back through your crimp. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ravioli time place my crimp right in the center of my magical crimping pliers crimp it down so you'll get four pierced corners and then i'm gonna put it back in 90 degrees and then i rotate around a few times and you'll get a lovely little bead that black just disappears entirely We'll talk about an incognito crimp. So then I'll just slide my beads down to the other side. Take that part off and add my crimp here. I'm move some of these beads out of here. Go ahead and add my did I put that on right? Yeah. Go ahead and add my other side to my toggle. Feed the wire back down through my crimp. And then I'm going to make sure that my bracelet is loose and in a circular shape before I crimp. And then I have a little bit of wiggle room. I might need to add a little bit of wiggle, a little more wiggle room there. When I'm ready, go ahead and place that crimp right in the center notch of the magical crimping pliers. Give it a squeeze. It'll give you those four corners that are pinched 
like a ravioli, place it back into your magical crimpers, crimp again, and then I go around a few times, rolling it in that center notch. Sharon has gotten much better after much practice of the magical crimp and she loves it. She found that it's important that the crimp is inside the little space and not showing on either side. Yes, you have like this, this has one notch right in here as like a half circle on this side and a half circle on this side. And you want your crimp to sit right in the center. That is the most important thing. It needs to be right in the center. And that is how you'll ensure that you will get a nice rounded crimp. And now I will double check this bracelet and hope it still fits me. <laughs> I do find that bracelet sizing is tough. It's always my, it does, it does. That is a lot of fun. And now I have one of my little sugar skulls left to make a make a spider with. I was thinking this one, these two together. What do you guys think? I don't have any beads pulled out for the legs, so I can't really make it right now because I have to go find the, the, the legs and everything. But um, I think that's gonna be a really fun butthead spider. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at all these beads I get to add to my collection for from the, the Halloween Hustle bead strand. You've got three of these. Which, oh my gosh, that could make a really fun earring too. You've got a couple of bead caps. One, two, three. There's probably, up oh, there we go. Four bead caps. You get two of these super sparkly beads. I know, Sherry, it's true. They do, they can take a lot of practice, the magical crimper, but once you get it, you're just gonna love it and never wanna use another crimper again, in my opinion, um, because they just turn out so nice. You get these cool bead frames. which have these little square ones inside, but you can change and add different beads inside. And then there's a bunch of spacers. So there's four of these large black crystal spacers, which I think these are probably like eight millimeter. And you'll get two of these spacers, which have a little bit more of a little zigzaggy quality to them. They're probably more like six millimeter. And then you get four of these potato chip spacers, which are always fun to add a little bit of movement and they're in a silver color to your design. So that is from the Halloween Hustle strand that I ended up cutting open to grab these two little beads on the end from. So if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, go ahead and add your hashtag Halloween. And I will pick a winner in just a minute. We also have some VIB um, joyful beading winners that I wanted to announce. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them up right now. 
and announce these are our last winners for the joyful beating challenge. Let's see. There we go. Is that showing? Yep, there we go. Okay. So congratulations to Kim, Liz, Sherry, Melissa, and Rosanna. You guys all won $10 store credit prize at softlexcompany.com. We've added your $10 um, prize to your customer account already, so it should be in there to use. Be sure to use it by November 15th. It will be um, um, after that date is when you will forfeit any remaining amount that you haven't used yet. So hooray, hooray! Joyful beating is done. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go ahead and share our next giveaway for right now. Let's go ahead and see. We've got 71 entries so far. And 93, 94 of you watching. So if there's anyone else who wants to sneak in there, one last chance, final call, add the hashtag Halloween comment here on the video and we will choose a winner to win one of our Halloween Hustle beading kits. We do these beading kits every month. Um, our next one that is out right now is Birds of a Feather. So you can grab that one if you're shopping at softlexcompany.com as well as the Halloween Hustle while supplies last. All right, we got a couple more of you. Oh, hello, my friend Rosalinda. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you are doing well. Hey, Zach. 75 entries. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and, and pull the name here. Who's it going to be? Oh, 76. Somebody got in there right at the end. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. You need to be here to win. So Sharon, hooray, Sharon. I wanna make sure you're still here. You should be, I think you just commented a moment ago. Just let us know you're here. And congratulations. Sherry, will there be extra beads with the bird kit? We do have an extra birds of a feather bead strand um, that you can get right now at softlexcompany.com. And we did introduce some, um, there she is. Hi, thank you. Hooray, hooray. Um, we introduced some owls and some bird check glass etched bird coins. At, uh, last week. So if you haven't seen those yet, go check those out at softlexcompany.com. Um, congrats, Sharon. Please send us a message. Email us at info at softlexcompany.com and let us know your shipping address so we can get your prize in the mail to you. Oh, I thought so, Rosalinda. She said she's having a harder time sneaking in to watch, but she's home today. I hope you're going to feel better. I'm sad that you're homesick, but I'm glad you were able to join us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm sure you catch some of the replays, but I just don't see you live as much as I used to. All right, everyone. Let's see. One last thing I wanted to point out is we are getting super low on our tier cast. Um, products and I wanted to share where you guys can go on our website to see all of our Tierra cast. So that's the one last thing I'm going to bring up here is our homepage. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, so you'll see right on the homepage, you'll see our current sale and then the Monster Mash. So that's where you can grab that information there. And then Joyful Beating Challenge just ended. So we got to take that down. Um, but I'm going to scroll down. You see our new products, Birds of the Feather and the Birds of the Feather Bead Strand. We have some of those Halloween Hustle bead mixes just by themselves, a few of those left. And then we've got those check glass bird coins and owls 
um, right there under new products too that I was just mentioning. So if I scroll down some more, you'll see in our featured products, we've got the Halloween Hustle kit. We also have the Monster Mash kit and the Halloween Hustle bead strand, as well as a few other Halloween items still in stock. But I'm gonna keep going and scroll all the way down. Here's our blog. So you'll see the last, the most recent um, four blogs here, or yeah, four right at down at the bottom. And if you come all the way down here, all the way down to the bottom, under the last column here, it says brands, starts with Softlex, and then the next one is Tierra Cast. So if I click on that, it is gonna bring me to my category that has all of the Tierra Cast in it. And you can see things, we're leaving stuff up for right now that are that are going out of stock, just so um, you could see what's going on here. So we've got quite a few things going out of stock and then you can scroll down and see what's still there. And then there are four pages of Tierra Cast. If you haven't heard, Tierra Cast has, is no longer gonna be um, manufacturing their product at this time. So what we've got here is what we have left and we are not able, I don't think, to place um, any more orders or at least not very many orders here in the future. And one more page. We're also highlighting these in our email so that you guys can see what we've got, um, got left going on. And these are, that's that toggle that I just used today. So we used to have them in all those colors, but we just have the black and the gold left at this time. Okay, love their products. I know, I do too. It's super sad. Um, so grab them while you can. Thank you all for a fun show for joining me too. And um, I know, Terry, we're all hopeful that somehow someone will swoop in and maybe purchase the line or purchase the company. Um, we don't know. And even if they do swoop in, uh, there will definitely be a break in production for, for a period of time. So just wanted to... Um, Make sure we share what you what, share with you what we still have because things are moving quick. I have a few things here in my office too that I'm going to send back to Softlex Company Warehouse so that some of you can snatch them up. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. I will see you again on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time with our friend Cassandra Spicer for a beating party. Um, so until then. We'll have some new items and new things going on sale too on Wednesday. So look forward to seeing you and have a spooktacular month, everyone. Bye.